As like RL Craft mobs, RL Craft bosses have many varieties. There have a mob and their ultimate version is a boss. Here in RL Craft, there are 8 bosses we can summon and also 3 super bosses are available but the super bosses are not enlisted in this list. So here I'm gonna show you how to summon all those 8 bosses in RL Craft. This is the structure of the altar of Calistial Geonage, the boss version of Geonage. You can see there is needed obsidian blocks, one diamond block and one soul key to activate the altar. The altar has activated and you can see the boss and you can differentiate between the boss, the Calistial Geonage and the normal Geonage. This is Crimson Epion Altar, which is the boss version of Epion. Epion is unspawnable in daytime, so this time this is exploding too much. But this is the boss, and it, it can spawn in daytime or night time. This is the structure of the Ebon. Caco Demon, the boss version of Caco Demon. This is the difference between the Ebon Caco Demon and the normal Caco Demon. You can see the brutally changes in the boss. This is the altar of Lunar Gru, the boss version of Gru. And you can differentiate between crew and the boss lunar crew. This is the altar of the mottled Abaya, the boss version of Abaya. You can literally differentiate between the Abayas and the mortal Abaya. This is the altar of the phosphorescent chupacabra, the boss version of chupacabra. You can differentiate between these two creatures, the boss and the normal one. This is the altar of the royal archvile. You can see how the royal archvile can be summoned. You can differentiate between the normal archvile and the royal archvile. This is the last structure of the video that is the Umber Lobber Altar. This is the boss version of Lobber. You can see how the Umber Lobber can be summoned. You can differentiate between the Lobber and the Umber Lobber. They can make a temporary lava source. 